So to celebrate this winter wonderland miracle... I'm gonna sit inside and play video games and watch TV and make YouTube videos like a normal person. Hey guys, this is Prandle. And this is the start of my brand new channel format. Hey Prandle, what happened to that Kingdom Hearts video you kept talking about? Thanks for asking, random viewer. I'm still working on that video. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would, mainly because I'm being really lazy about it, but it's still coming, I promise. Hey Prandle, why do you look so different? Well, like I said, I've been really lazy lately, so I haven't been making a lot of videos. Sorry. But Prandle, what's this new format you keep talking about? Well, maybe if you shut up for five seconds and let me talk, I can get to that. Thank you. Basically, I'm changing the idea of my channel. I'm not really going to be doing a whole lot of Let's Plays anymore. I mean, I'll still do a couple of them here and then, but it won't be my main focus. From now on, I'm mainly going to be focusing on doing reviews of different video games and stuff like that. Particularly indie games, which is a genre that I'm particularly fond of. I just said particularly twice. I messed up that last time. But, Prandall, Kingdom Hearts is your favorite game ever, and that's not an indie game. Well, I started working on that video before I came up with this idea, so I'm still gonna finish it. Jeez. Anyway, let's get started. This is a game called Tilt-A-Home. I'm guessing it was made by some guy named... Jazz? I don't know. But basically, you play as a little, uh, pink blob thing. It's cute. But it reminds me of another video game character that I can't seem to remember. Hmm. Brown pink body, rosy cheeks, and a scared or surprised facial expression? Huh, who could it be? Ah, well, moving on. So the object of the game is to get the Kirbys, I mean the Blobs, out of their home. Because for some reason they don't like living there. I wouldn't either if I lived in a house that was nothing but a maze and random couches, clocks, and lamps. You move the arrow keys to change the gravity of the house, cause that's a thing that you can do. And the R key resets the level if you screw up, and you will screw up. The first few levels are relatively easy, and you can pretty much zoom right through them. I just wish it didn't have to make a loud pong noise every time you did anything. Don't get me wrong, I love 8-bit retro games, but this gets a little annoying after a while. Everything is fine until you reach this level. I spent a good 10 minutes just trying to figure this one out, because once a Kirby blob goes through a door, it closes forever. I guess it makes sense because these blurbies don't have arms of any kind to open doors. Turns out, you just gotta stack the clobs so they can all go through the doors at once. Then you get to this level, which really reminds me of that old puzzle game with the cars. You know, the one where you had to get the little white car to an empty spot or something by frustratingly move the other cars out of the way in weird orders. Then I do another level, and then all of a sudden, I'm at the title screen again. I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, something about this looks familiar. Turns out the game only has like five or six levels, and it loops back to the beginning. Well, that's pretty much all there is to this game. It's a cute little fun game that has some frustrating moments that'll make you want to strangle a gazelle. That's all I've got for today, guys. Woo! Great first episode. Uh, hopefully next time I'll find a game that lasts longer than a couple minutes. Alright, this is Prandle, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!